Hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Shadows of Doubt. This is the game that we're having a look at today and putting into rotation. I'm pretty excited to check this out. It's just come out. Um, it's a sort of sandbox detective game, so stealth, immersive sim, in a procedural kind of city, all wrapped up in a really charming art style. Pretty ambitious stuff. I'm curious to see if it uh, sticks to the landing, but it looks pretty good. What's this? The Dead of Night, a specially crafted case to introduce you. And then the sandbox. Well, let's do the dead of night. Play in a pre-made or previously generated city or generate a new city to play in. Um, I guess generate a new city, right? Okay. Oh, right, right, right. So this is how you get the... This is how you get the, the seed size as well. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that'll do. Miyazaki. Continue. Player name. Evangeline D Dish. All oh, right. What if I don't want to be uh, a male or for male? Henry Fisher. What is this? Is that sort of skin color? Is it? I mean, who, who cares? But okay. Game difficulty easy. Put me on normal game. Put me on normal. All right. Intro scenario. Show me what, what's what. Creating companies. Connecting rooms. Yeah. Look at this art. Nice. Keep a look out for paper clips and hairpins. They can be used for picking locks. All right. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Looks like uh. Oh, what's that game? The where you destroy you destroy the entire environment. Oh, it kills me. That the it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, great game. It's good to see this sort of art. As well. So I'm running this on an SSD, but obviously it has to build this entire city, so it's going to take a... I suppose it'll take a hot second. Finalizing, saving. Well, that sounds promising. Simulating pass events. Oh, wow. All right, game, you, you, you're hyping me up. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of jazzed. Enable tutorial. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I don't know what I'm doing. It's late 20th century. Oh, a little bit of hitching. That's okay. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. Good. That's how we want it. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected mega corporation present in history. Starch Cola. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I love it. As sea level rises, cities have become polluted islands. I don't think they needed this, the sea for that. They just needed to be American. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Okay, sure. How big is this city gonna be? Oh my god. Rival corporations vie for power. Police by the privatized starch cola in forces. Alright, sure. It does get a bit old how, you know, everyone that makes a cyberpunk setting, oh, it's evil megacorps, and I'm like, I'm down here going, I don't care, I'm glad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the evil part. Industrialize everything. Corporatize everything. I know I'm not the only person that has that reaction to it as well. It just it always feels like the biggest misfire. Anyway. The Dead of Night. Just past midnight, in my apartment. Okay, what's this? Light switch. How do I... F is my map, apparently. Okay. Awake again. So cold. I can't figure out how to turn on... There we go. Just can't get no sleep without Sam. No use just lying here. Oh, I don't want to hear about your problems, mate. How good's the rain? Stay alert. I like the lighting as well. Oh my goodness. 
Wait, was F the map? <laughs> oh, this is this is wild. I like this a lot. Flyer. Former Police Officers Welfare Association. We're here for you. Free basic housing for those in need. Well, that's great. For more information, talk to Burton up Bishop. Please note we can no longer help with money or social credit claims. Okay, sure. But oh, okay, look, we got a little thing. Jump. Paxadol. Tape. To access your inventory, press X. Watch. Check time, do nothing. Pain relief. Oh, okay. Can I take the tissues? Oh, I can take a tissue. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Can I open my cupboards and have a look? Wait, hiding place? And depending on your activity, different kinds of stats may affect your character. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, look, we've got a nice little butterfly picture. Safe. Locked. Need lock picks. What's this? Dental floss. I got dental floss in my inventory. Let's go. Hello. Yeah. Hello, who's this? Hang up. Huh. May telephone you find telephone numbers through your exploitation? Yeah. Call an enforcer squad. Find out who last called. Oh, okay. Interesting. Added wrench to inventory. So my inventory can only hold so many things. Oh, we've looped around. Okay. Wow. I, I need to know how big this city is. There's a note under the front door. Oh. Inspect. Case board. When you inspect an item, it brings up an evidence window. It can be pinned to your case board for future reference. Pinned items are displayed as icons you can move around. Oh, I love this. This is like uh, Phantom Doctrine. You can position these items uh, you wish and select them to bring up evidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Facts or connection to displayed as string. And you can mouse over these to see more info. You can use F to pause at any time to look at your case board. Select the name Yushin Matsuo. And select the pin. Pin the note. Ah. Ah. Okay, cool. Yushin Matsuo, never heard of him. If this is a job, it's a lousy way to do business. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Wait, so that whole apartment- Oh no! This entire apartment block. You can't be serious. Inspect the city directory. Keep people out of my house for now. Look up Yushin Mitsuo in your city directory. Alright, well it's going to be M. Y Matsuo. Here we go. And we're going to pin that. Okay. This is... Okay. Whatever it is, I'd better go prepared. Can I turn my sensitivity down? It might be controls. 
Oops, what just happened then? My mouse pointer disappeared. Controls. 11 and 10 sounds great. It doesn't like the escape button very much. Find old detective equipment. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's locked. Lock pick. Look for hairpins. You have no lock picks. Yeah, are you just gonna are you gonna let me have the said hairpins or do I have to seriously search everywhere? Hey, what's going on here? Assorted books? I need two hairpins. Battery. What's in my fridge? Synth pork. <laughs> yeah, good. Dude, this is nuts. What is going on? An eraser. Paperclip. There we go. Oh, is it giving me a hint? Hairpin. <laughs> Keep a look out for locks. Each lock has its own strength. You start the process. Indicated bars say how many picks needed to complete the lock pick. Okay. You can also use lock picks to sabotage security systems. Oh, okay. So it's not really a mini game. I don't think. Lock 7% requires two picks. Good. Honestly, I don't need a crappy mini game. That's fine. Detective stuff. To access your inventory, press X. Yes. The top group of items do not take up space. These three are vital tools of the trade. Lower selection, fidget slots. Yep. You can drop or scan picked up items for fingerprints, once an item is selected, no. You can assign hotkeys to inventory spaces. Okay. You can also view info about current status effects and how to get rid of them on the inventory screen. Okay. Lockpicks 30, let's go. Wait, so inventory is this. So can I like make... Oh, they're all locked. One, two... Three, four. Here we go. Not. Oh, look at that. So cool. Open the case board and select pinned 404U center. Oh, there we go. Can I close these? I can. Now, what's this mean? Plot route. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Non-intrusive GPS. That's so different. I think this game might be mapless, to be honest. Go to 404 U, U Center. Can you crawl through the air vents? What? I know I'm going the wrong way, I just need to look at the city. Oh my god! This is so crazy, let's go! The ambition. Do we think it's here?
Looks like it, doesn't it? New center ground floor lobby. Okay. I could, did you check all these? Check mailboxes. Lock pick. You could lock pick them. For, so there's fire control systems. So maybe there's fire in this. What is going on with these reflections as well? Oh my god. You center fourth floor. So. 202. Oh, okay. It flashes up the... the oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. And the, and the wild thing is that this is all procedural. Like, presumably this pre... Well, I don't want to make assumptions, but this prefab might just be copy-pasted, you know? Like, if this was just a one-off city, that's- that's wild enough. To so know if a door is locked, you'll first have to try and open it. Locked doors can be unlocked by focusing on the door handle. Looks locked to me. Knock on the door. Breaking and entering. When breaking into a room, it's a good idea to check for cameras. If you're worried about the cameras, turn them off by using the security breaker box connected to the camera. You can trace red wires of the system. Yes. In residential properties, it's worth checking under the doormat for a key. Most rooms... <gasps> this is so... Oh my god. Immersive sim people are going to have their heads exploded. I, I don't mind immersive sims. But, you know, quite often there is a type of person that only plays immersive sim. Most rooms will feature some kind of ventilation system when struggling to find a safe entrance could be a way in. If in a rush, you can always break down the door. Dude's got a gun. This might take several attempts, it's pretty noisy. What's the camera situation? There's a camera over there. Oh, there's a key right here. He's not even trying. There's not even a rug. <laughs> I wonder if that's a, a quirk for the procedural, like a a mistake. Investigate property. Oh wait, did I just get seen trespassing? It appears orange. If it's red, they will attack you. Oh no. Often good idea to identify safe means of escape. Keep an eye out for air ducts to escape in a hurry, as well as hiding places under beds. Oh, the camera saw me go in. Oh, <gasps> shit. What's happened here? Wait, I think I'm in trouble. I think I need to find a bed to hide under just in case. Yeah. How do I hide under a bed? Hiding. <laughs> okay, good to know. Look around for vents and see potential. Oh, there's a camera right there. It's not doing anything though. All right, I see the vent. And I, I would enter by, aha. Very cool. And then enter here. Okay, good, got it. Uh, identify the body by finding a photo ID. Look around. What is this note? Go to Butterscotch Building Supplies. Knock then give the password Albatross. Can I pin this note? And then pin this as well. Okay, let's find a photo ID. Oh, here we go, found the other vent.
Find time of death by analysing the cadaver. Inspect. Unknown citizen. Pinned. This is fantastic. Name. Date of birth. Connections. Search analyze. A bullet wound from low caliber ammunition. Right. Can I like pin them? How do I pin them together? Create string. New custom connection. Maybe I'm just not allowed to. Oh. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. Examining the body, it appears the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine time of death between 11.30. Tuesday, January 3rd. What day is it now? Yeah. Wait, that's that could that could be better explained. Are you saying eleven thirty on Tuesday? Was this guy shot twenty four hours ago, or was he shot? Oh, hang on, Monday up here. Okay, so this wording's terrible, but yeah, there you go. So he was shot twenty four hours ago. Was he? No, no, he was shot last. He was shot uh, an hour ago. Because we've just ticked over to two a.m. Tuesday, right? Right. Oh, so it auto pins important information anyway. Can I just remove custom link? Yeah, good. Unknown citizen, new information. Okay. Um. All right, let's find some. Oh, there's blood over here. Aha. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's reorganized my stuff for me. Each citizen has unique fingerprints. You can scan for them using a fingerprint scanner. Point scan where you go. Almost all services contain fingerprints. Unknown fingerprints will be found in sets, with set A being the first set you find. Any matching prints will also be labeled to the corresponding set. For example, you find set A at apartment, subsequently at a bar. You can prove the citizen was in both locations. W what is this game? This is wild! Use right mouse button to inspect fingerprints after you've found them. Pin them to your case board. The fingerprints may disappear over time. Right. I should search the place for clues. Check recent calls. Select your print scanner and scan for prints on anything the perp might have touched. Well, I mean, can I just take print? Here we go. Okay. Fingerprints, name, photo. Yeah, we've got fingerprints belonging to him. Okay. Fingerprint. Yushin Matso.
what's happened over here? Safe code. Office manager. So the game's telling me where it wants me to look. Hang on. Oh, hang on. What's happened here? Type B. So we've got someone else's prints. Search for clues at the crime scene. Check for recent calls. It's worth checking the address book. Might be helpful to pin it. It's going to be full of names. But it's something. Check for recent calls. Five... Four, one, zero, 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 zero. All right, we'll pin all that. Sometimes it's useful to check the trash. Okay. Receipt. Okay. Never know. Ruby choice, everyday wine. Never know. Not being seen is your best chance of survival. Dot in the middle shows how hidden you are. Okay. Color the outer eye displays if someone can see you. Okay. When things go wrong, go wrong you can sort to combat with your fists. You can choose to punch or block. If you block at the right time, you'll automatically perform a counter that knocks out the other citizen. Yeah, good. Be careful, violence can escalate quickly. No, of course. Why are you warning me of this? Pin that. Pin everything. Pin it all. Dirty napkin. Jump. The side alarm has been tripped. Enforcers will be here in a minute. Ah! <gasps> Oh god. Can't be found here, they'll take me down. Oh. Escape the building. <laughs> oh, that reaction time, let's go. How do I get out of here? I wonder if my prints get found. Escape the building. No. Oh, I can climb up. Ah, okay, good. Okay. This is so cool. So, what's the dirty sock symbol next to my name? Public bathroom? I just got a thing pop up. Cold. Got to get warm. Oh no, I can't stay up here forever. I'm going to die in the events. I'm trying to get out game, I promise. I don't know if climbing up was the play. Let's just keep going up. <laughs> Yeah, 
Here we go. Public bathrooms. Whew. Okay. Escape the building. Am I going to have a hard time? Like, they can't know who I am, right? How do I get out of this bathroom? Wait, what sort of nonsense is this? Is this a sealed bathroom game? What have you done? Oh, no, no. Here we go, huh? Oh. Excuse me. Is the elevator coming? Oh, perfect. Operate. Ground. <laughs> I can't believe the detail in this game. This is phenomenal. Oh, man. And I'm out. Just like that. And I've got a smelly socks thing. Collect a murder case resolution form from City Hall. Right. Now, I can save any time? Good. And I will. This... Uh oh. I pressed escape. What happened there? Uh, I have to press it twice? Whatever. This is something else. Alright, well, we'll persevere with this tutorial level, obviously, but I'm excited to see what the open world, you know, what, what else this game has to offer. Because it seems like, you know, um, I'm getting cold, I'm getting smelly by the look of it, right? Stinky. Citizens may smell you before they see you take a shower, right? So there's a, there's a life sim component to this. Perhaps I need to eat and drink as well. I'm not sure about that, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Anyway, this game's wild. I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. Let me know if you want to see some more, team. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.